I know I do not have fur, these are scales. When you say scales, are they more like uh, reptilian or amphibian? Uh, reptilian, lizard folk. I've seen you swim. Yes, some reptiles swim. I do like the questions. The what? questions don't stop, do they? Oh no, they don't at all. <laughs> we should probably get to Genthiel as quickly as possible. 220 pounds! They keep feeling up my muscles. <laughs> yeah. They're so big. You are mm. much larger than them. Mm. You run very fast. Yes. Quite. Do you want to race me? I love that Arash talk is like translating all this for you as well. <laughs> they want to race you. It... No? no? All right. You're asking if I, if I can race you? Hmm. Oh, yes. It, does, it, does anyone have any sort of timekeeping device? I have one. I have a watch. <clears throat> do, do we actually not to be you know hit with a party poofer or what have you but do we actually have time for races mm, probably not no no all right sorry no time, time. <laughs> down down that way or to where we're going or something if you'd like to do that yeah it's all right maybe next time we should make time to genthiel there's like a collective Oh. God, why do I always feel like the party pooper as I keep walking towards Genthiel? Why is she pooping on parties? I pat our hashtag on the shoulder. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Making your way back through Lasky Alua. Um, I don't know that you've ever met Genthiel. The Genthiel in uh, any other location other than, um, oh god, I've lost her name. Aleli. Aleli, yes, thank you. I'll close that window. Um, Aleli's uh, home. Um, is that where you go? Unless directed otherwise from Manavik, I would probably go there because that's where I would associate him. Yes. Where do you think you'd go, Malavik? <sighs> I'd go... Yeah, I'd go back where we were, where Gentile was with us. He seems to always be with her. So that's that's where I would be walking. Okay. Make your way back towards the home of Aleli. Uh, knocking on the door, you are quickly greeted by Aleli's smile. Oh, hello. Welcome back. I see you have made... You have... How, how, how is the word? Um... You have visited? Visited. The memory cache, and you are... All right? All of you? Yes. Um... A, a little worse for wear, but... We are well. Good, yes. Good, uh, come, come inside. No, go away. Go away. They have answered enough questions for now. We have important matters to discuss. Please, come inside. What? Is, um, Genthiel here by any chance still? Yes. He's having some tea. Wonderful. Would you Wonderful. care for some tea? Yes. Uh, yes. That would be lovely. Any wheat? Meat? Mm. I will see what we have. Mm. If they do not, I have jerky. Mm. 
I would like to go to Gentiol. Skipping tea and whatever other pleasantries. Yeah, Gentiel is uh, sitting at a table. He uh, stands up as you all uh, come back. Ah, it is good to see you. Hello. Did you know? What? Did you know what would happen down there? I don't, I don't know what you mean. They searched our memories. They dug up stuff that I wanted to forget. We almost died down there. The way you made it seem like it was going to be a pleasant walk. To go talk to your mother, which we did, by the way. Granted, in all schemes of things, she's just a head. A tree. Malavie, darling. You should have warned us. I... I I'm... I'm sorry, I did... I, I know that there is... A trial to gain... Knowledge. In exchange, I I did not think it would be harmful. Intrusive. There are many things down there that... <laughs> there are trees with heads on it. The Your garden. mother, unfortunately, may not have... may not be who you think she is anymore. Tools, rather. Some things should be forgotten, and I'll storm out of the room. Uh, um, Gentile? Uh, what is it you know uh, about what happens to your great scholars that are brought there? Uh, their memory is kept. What do you know of their form? It is... I have seen that which you speak. Some may consider it morbid, but we have always considered it an honor. I will not question your culture or anything involving it. I simply wished to let you know in a more delicate and um, uh, I suppose detailed way, if you did not. That is all. So uh, please know that there is no judgment from my end with regards to that. Um, we did speak with your mother. We let her know that you miss her. She said it is good to hear that you are well. I'm very glad to hear that. Of course. Um... Are you all all right? Look to my two colleagues that are still in the room. Well, I'm fine, but... I suspect that our companion might not be. In fact, if you'll excuse me, and I will go after Malavik. It was unpleasant. Indeed. Um, there was a trait of sorts. The information that we sought, they already knew what it was they wanted. Um, but in order to get said information about the curse, about Soyo, about all of this, um, we had to let these gardeners in on our thoughts, our most important memories, so to speak. The trial of which 
was spoken was one that, um... It's quite horrible, <laughs> actually. Um... There were these statues on the way to speak with the gardeners that... twisted and... trudged up even worse memories. Um... So it is easy to say that our group is not quite well, but we will be all right. Given some time. Um, I suppose um, two more important matters then. Right. Uh, um, your mother filled us in on the location last known for Osoyo as well as that we needed to remove our curse in order to be able to go back to Galarian. The curse is intrinsically linked to what, the key? Yes, I do believe so. Well, it is all linked. Mm, true. All of it. Um. That being said, your mother made mention of a formula, um, the third restorative one, from her... Note... Uh, notebook, was it the seventh? seventh? The seventh, yes. Um, there were alterations, though, that you must make. Um, she said something about getting rid of the peony seeds, right? Ah, yes, yes. Uh, there was... Something else, I think. Did Tears. Celia write it down, or did you? Celia wrote it down. Um, yeah, let me see. Uh, I remember tears and and uh, water. Um, no, uh, Zata tears ah! and peony seeds to be removed and replaced. With water from she who walks, walks sea through seasons, through yes. seasons, and that yes. you would know what that means. Genty yells, eyes go a bit wide. She who walks through seasons. Indeed. Yes. Hmm. That will be a challenge indeed. Genthiel sort of begins to ponder. You can see him doing some mental math here. You know whom she speaks of? Oh, what? Yes, peony seeds, Zata tears. She who walks through the season. Oh. Yes. Yes, I'm sorry. She who walks through seasons is a sacred being. Not quite god. Not quite beast. Many mm, Ikal natives have worshipped her as an avatar the jungle itself. The size of a hill, she lumbers through the forest as the forest. Atop her head bubbles a sacred spring. To remove this curse, you must summon she who walks and bring back some of her head waters. These are the waters that my mother spoke of. I'll prepare the rest of the components and be ready for your return. Uh, will she let us 
Or is this something we will have to deal with that is hostile? She who walks is not hostile. But an offering will be made. And who knows what rides atop at any moment. Forgive me for being a little bit um, unknowledgeable in this area, but how are we to summon this she who walks? Is that is that her name? Many call her she who walks. She who walks through seasons. She can be beckoned out of hiding from an ancient tower. It is called the Offering Spire. I can direct you to it. Yes, that would be wonderful. Um, should we look into any such literature or something to figure out what it is to offer? We should offer. No, no. I can tell you that she who walks will enjoy special fruits and fungus. That will be a sufficient offering. It will take much, perhaps 100 pounds. Oh, all right. And you will need to blow through the spore horn to complete the summoning. Spore horn, understood. Yes. All right. Um, have you made any developments with regards to the research you all were doing? No. All right. Everything that my mother has said. The curse, the key, Soyo. It is all strange, but it somehow fits together. Thank you, Chinthiel. Um, Rashtak, did you have anything else to add or, or ask? Mm. Do you have a repellence for some of the local uh, fauna? We seem to constantly attract them. It is likely we are not used to traversing, and some make more noise than others. If there is a way to help uh, expedite, uh, we would be greatly appreciative. Several of our scholars have tried, but it seems that the creatures of the jungle their senses of smell and taste. All of their senses really are rather overdeveloped. Any attempts we've made to confuse them have been met with death. So we must flee or kill them. The Ikal Expanse is a very dangerous place. That is why Los Kialua is the only city that has remained after all this time. And you have seen it is nestled in this mountain range. It is well protected. Uh, this makes sense. I wished to ask nonetheless. How long is the travel to the grove? I assume it's the grove. The spire. 
the spire. Thank you. Yes. Um, perhaps half of a day. Hmm. Understood. It is to the east. I am... Um, I've been meaning to ask, actually, Genziel. It's a last question. Um... I have noticed the, um... Locals here seem a bit uneasy at my presence. Do you... Do you have any idea as to why? I think they are more curious than anything else. There <sighs> are tales of your kind. Uh, they are called uh, Duskwalkers, or we are called Duskwalkers in Galarian. Is it not the same here? Yes, the translation is difficult, but I believe something similar. See. Mm. Right. Um, do you know if there is any literature on it? You can... You can check the place of learning. I will. All right. I will uh, brush myself off. Uh, if that is all, Rastak, I will be... We will be making our way. Genthiel, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, apologies again for any trouble that I may have caused. Uh, it was the only way I know. No. You are not at fault in any way, shape, or form. Um, we are the ones who came here with questions, and you attempted to provide answers. It's only natural that uh, sometimes answers are with hardships before you find them. Regardless, I am... I'm sorry. <clears throat> that happened. You know now the state of the cash. The trials are... near deadly. Let us, uh, make our way then, Rorschach. Mm. Perhaps we will find you... our colleagues. If not, do you wish to go to the place of learning? I would, yes, if, mm. if that would be all right. I can help you find the book. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Very well. Take care, Genthiel. Good day. Malarik, wait up. What is it? You left in a bit of a hurry, didn't you? <sighs> yes. I do not like this place anymore. I don't like where we were. I don't want to be reminded of things that I chose to forget, resurface it then use it against us. Everyone seems to have this sense of leaving things out. I think that's fair for you to feel that way, but the unfortunate truth is that things left untended have a way of coming back. Don't they? <laughs> Unless you abandon them and throw them away. But they don't ever really leave you. I was hoping that it did. I was having a hard time remembering her face. And now it's clear as day. Do you want to talk about it? No. 
Do you think you'll be alright? I'll find a way. I always have. Well, I'm glad we have a moment to ourselves. There's something I've been meaning to give you. To give you me? Yes, I've been working on it uh, between our rests while I'm on watch. Why? But Why me? Why not your <laughs> companions? You are one of our companions now. Uh. And I pull out of my satchel a small loop of leather twine and dangling on it, wrapped around the stems of two feathers by thin pieces of wire attaching it to this loop. It's a sort of feather bracelet. The feathers are cyan and white, long and slender. You would instantly recognize them from the raptor-like creatures that we fought together. Did you know that feathers are a symbol of freedom and healing? I did not. And you want to give this to me? The thing about the burdens we carry, we can wear them like armor, We can let them go untended, and they fester, and they only give us pain. Whatever you decide to do, now that they have been unearthed again, I hope you know that you aren't alone, and that if you need someone to talk to, you have not only me, but Arashtak. You have Yara. You have Karun. The one that doesn't listen. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) Mm. I will accept your gift. Do you mind giving me a rest? Mm. I'll undo my leather gauntlets. I reach forward and I take your wrist. I look at your hand. You've had a hard life, I can tell. Mm. Yes. I guess you could say that. Oh, not the only one. And as I'm tying the bracelet to your wrist, you can see that my hands are littered in scars. Evidence of burns and deep gashes. A -hmm. lifetime of struggle. You're a warrior. I thought you were by the book. I cannot be both. (laughs) There. Maybe you can. But your demeanor is gentle, soft. Your touch is not of what it seems. You bore strength, but yet you are carrying like a mu- <laughs> oh. A mother. Let's just say, these are things that I choose. There. You bear children. Mm-hmm. Not right now. But... (laughs) Um, there. It should be on tight. No matter how hard you swing those weapons of yours, it shouldn't fall off. I will be protected under this. I will cherish your gift. I have never really been given anything... with meaning. Um... Uh, thank you. You're welcome. I do not have anything in return right now. Oh, no. I do not give it to you with the expectation of anything in return. I just want you to know that you are one of us. Hmm. I try. 
to balance your group. I understand that you lost someone. I do not know the details. But it seemed like it was a great deal to Yara at least. I cannot bring that person back, nor can I replace them, but I will try to at least make it to where you do not lose another. I wish you could have met him. I think mm. the two of you would have had very interesting conversations. He was a warrior. Yes. Strong. Yes. Very How did strong. he end up not here if he was a warrior and strong? He chose to protect us in an impossible situation. He died in battle honorably. There are many ways to die honorably. Mm. Maybe I will meet him in the other life. But for now, I'll just honor his um, presence and not diminish it with my own. Are you hungry? Food. <laughs> you can eat. Uh, I can always eat. Maybe we should find the others first. I kind of left. Um, it's not their fault. It's all right. It's always all right to choose to take care of yourself, even if it means walking away. Did they not show you anything that was disturbing? Something that you chose to forget? Everyone seems okay with what happened. I do not. I saw many disturbing things. The war against the Whispering Tyrant. But the thing is that I will always choose transparency. I will always choose to not hide or cower. Things that happen, happen. As any book is chronicled, chronicled, any book, history written, it happened. Choosing to look away doesn't diminish it. And if that's what you need, then do it. Do what you must. But it does not make it go away. It was different. I didn't just see, I felt. My hands were smaller. I felt the embrace of a finger between my hands. It's like reliving it, but feeling it as I am now with the knowledge of knowing. I only remember the bad, but the good flooded my mind, which made it hurt even worse to be abandoned, thrown to the side like an animal, or even worse. Seeing the, uh, Disappointment, the horror in her eyes as she casted me away. Yeah. I did not want to remember that. It makes me angry. It builds my rage to a point of exploding. I see. I thought I honed it, used it as a weapon, but now I can feel it breaking clawing at the seams. Let's go find the others. Before we step off, I will try to wrap my arms around you to hug you into an embrace. <laughs> what is this? I squeeze. As hard as I can, as gently as I can. Mm. All right, let's go find the other, okay? I just nod. Can I follow? 
It's going to be okay. Hmm. We shall see. I let go. Um. Hmm. Thank you. And then I'll dash my eyes left to right and uh, hide a little smirk and then turn. <laughs> Straighten up and uh, begin to walk back towards the, uh, the place where Ginger was. I follow. Excuse me. No questions. No. Are your horns Uh, meant to impale anyone? They can. You charge like a bull. I do not smell like a bull. What anything about smelling? <laughs> I do not. Maybe I do. I don't know. I what? Don't What's wrong? He said I smelled like a bull. I would say that's inaccurate. I think so as well. Uh, they are not here. I do not see them. Hello, Gentiel. Ah, hello. I'm sorry if, if I disturbed you. Um, did you want any tea? No. We were wondering where our companions went. Um, I think they said something about the place of learning. What is that? The place of learning the with the books? The pleasure house. Ah, oh, yes. I know where that is. Mm. <laughs> I I think I'm misunderstanding. It says place of pleasure. No. The script. I learned it. It's I fumble the papers here. Pleasure. Gentiel sort of looks at you, Arcelia, like out of the side of his eye and shakes his head like he's obviously I... He's obviously, like, worried that he's going to upset Malavik more and is, like, doesn't want to say anything. <laughs> I Show lean me. over and Show I look me. at this piece of paper. What does it say on it? I mean, it's in, it's, it's in uh, Sylvan. This mm. means yeah. place of, um, that symbol is, like, possessing that word. And then it says pleasure, right? I... Look over at Gentiel from behind Maluvik's shoulder. Yes. I knew it. And I slam it down. Pleasure. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Thank you, Gentiel. Perhaps we'll enjoy some tea later. The lizard lied to me. I knew I knew what I was talking about. Oh, dear. Uh, let, let's let's go catch up with our companions. Yes, to the place of pleasure. You don't need to shout it. Um. I just want everyone to know that I uh, am learning. Maybe we can find someone to fortify your Sylvan. No need. I feel strong about this, Arcelia. I support you in whatever Thank you, you decide. I. Is this what I wanted to hear? It's this way. Right. I follow you. See, there's a sign there. 
Same word. Mm-hmm. Same meaning. Um, oh, I need to turn it around. There we go. Pleasure. Uh -huh. Your... Your written copy here. Mm. It's missing... The swoosh on the top. You see? What is the difference? It's the there's same a, thing. There's a swoosh. That's... Above the mountain-like symbol? Maybe a design fancy? I... I don't speak Sylphin, so I don't know. If I was to write your name and put a swoosh on it, is it still Arcidia? Or is it something else? You know? You... you're right. <laughs> Let's find a lizard so I can Yara. rectify his incorrectness of Lusky Lewis language. Arashtak, are you in here? I think I heard Arcelia. Yes, I think so as well. Uh, okay, lizard, how are you enjoying the place of pleasure? Let us keep our voices down, yes? Pleasure, you see here? Says it there. I'm there, sorry. Yes, you I wrote just... the word pleasure there. That is correct. No. <laughs> yes. And if you would like to go outside, I would show you how it is the same. What? You see that? Ignore the swoosh. Pleasure. I think that's just what? there for design if, purposes. If you ignore half the letter, it... Yes, if you ignore half of the letter, it will say something different. You're correct. What is a swoosh? I am correct. No, wait. Arcelia, and they call it a swoosh. Uh, so that is what it is. I, what? It is House of Pleasure swoosh with a swoosh. How's the investigation going? No, um, no, 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 wait. And I am correct. You said it. We, we are can done. you read? We are done with this conversation. Let's talk about what you discovered. Can he not read? I, I, I read right now in front of you. Would Wait, you like that's... me to do it slower? No, I do not need this you to enunciate is... slow. Wait, perhaps, perhaps. Place. Wait. Let me that, show. That middle symbol owns that word. Yes, that is of... correct. Yes, you've got the grammar. Uh... Now, learning. But it looks exactly the same as mine without No, the there's this. There, they, except that you keep. S Yara! It, please back yes. me up. You see this. Pleasure, pleasure. Ooh, you're Ma fancy. You wear Ma fancy clothes. Uh, Did Manavik, you put swooshes Ma on Manavik, fancy lettering? Manavik, Manavik. Part of learning is being willing to accept that someone else might have a point. Arashtak, you understand what Yara is saying? Yes, <laughs> I very much do. Good. Then we are done no, no, with no. this conversation. No, 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 Malefic, Malefic, Malefic. When, when there are written letters and words in front of us, yes. each language has their own distinctive reasoning for why they structure a word a certain way, right? Or why their letters have certain parts. Yes. So there might be one letter that has all of the parts uh -huh. and a little bit more, right, mm. of, of another letter, but mm. it means something else, right? Because you're adding on to that word. Mm. So learning is quite pleasing. So perhaps. Yes. They are similar, uh -huh. but there is a distinct difference in that half of the letter uh, is different. Are these the same? They're similar. It's no, just but there's no. more to it. Panic. Oh. Are these the same? Are these it's the same I letters in common? It's just inside voices. Mm. It depends on who wrote it. I wrote it! Mm, so are they the same? Are these the same? These are, this is a T. But you wrote it. You're this is me, an you... I. Are these the same? Mm. Yeah, they're different, Malavik. They're different. They're, they're different. So, so if you remove this bottom part, are they the same? Mm. Oh, you see, the swoosh is important. Is that what a swoosh is? Oh, no, with this case, you see, it's I learning it. and pleasure. You have to it's have the swoosh. Place of learning pleasure. Malavik. Yes! I understand now. 
<laughs> so we are both correct. Great mother, save me. Let's move on. <laughs> Perhaps we revisit this note in a library. I'm never I guess revisiting so this So learning again. is the silence. Silent. No. No, 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 no. It's just that libraries are meant to be places where people can focus. Um, the, uh. the place of learning is uh, sort of a library or a, a large grouping of literature for people to sit down and read, right? Which is why they don't allow Fine. them to leave. I write Fine. my name. And I put a swoosh. Now, um, what is this? Um, what is, well, what? Maltivic? That is incorrect. Well, you put the swoosh there. I am so confused. So am I. I will study this and revisit this conversation later. We can work on it. I'm mm. gonna go find you your book, Yara. Swoosh. Hi, so, Yara. Yes. How are you doing? Hmm. Um. I'm all right. Uh, we got some further information. Um, and I'm just looking into now. The reason we're here, actually, mm. is, uh, is simply because we are looking for uh, some literature on Duskwalkers. Um, oh. Uh, I summoned up the, the, the balls. Is that the phrasing? Uh, to ask uh, Gentile if... Um, he knew why some of the you locals... can summon balls now. Balls, Magic. like Just... like the courage, like you know to me. Balls mean? of courage. Well, you know how they say he has balls if he's mm. very courageous. Like look at the balls on them, right? But like earthenware or no, no, no. Like it, it doesn't matter actually. Uh, um, so confusing. I can't. I, I summed much. up the courage. I I mustered the courage to ask why it is people look at me a little strangely, um, mm. since they seem so intrigued and uh, well, happy to see you all, but more maybe it is because concerned of your, and weirded uh, out. Uh, hmm. Uh, beauty. You, you think I'm beautiful? beautiful? You are very uh, beautiful, yes. Yara. In my tribe, you would be the first one everyone would try to mate with. <laughs> that is an honor. And to that point, <clears throat> yes, sir, we are looking for. You are quite small, so there might be a little. L literature on my kind. And to the tales, perhaps, that, um. Uh... What tribe were you from? Did you tribe? I, I'm not, uh, uh, well, um, uh, I, I was a human and then I went through the Iodora, now I'm a Duskwalker, which is, uh, to my knowledge, some sort of um, a reincarnation, but it doesn't really make much sense because uh, Duskwalkers are sort of born as reincarnation, so they're meant to be like little babies, why, you know what it's, I mean? So you never, you haven't always looked like this, is what you're saying? No, no. Oh. Um. Oh. I take your hand. Is that why you're always so cold? It's part of it. It's also just part of the, uh, oracular curse that I have. So you are walking dead, boy? No, 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 no. I'm very much alive. Um, it's, it is just I, uh, got uh, hit with two things at once. I, I suppose I went through the Ayudara. I came out, uh, with white hair and silver eyes and uh, powers that uh, uh, cause these great amounts of pain and scars to stretch across my face, but I can I do really it. neat things, yes. Um, now people see they feel intimidated. They would like to walk through and become out beautiful as well. What? I mean, I was... I, I didn't look much. I, I suppose I was slightly more flush. I had it's okay. more color in my face. You don't have to be modest. Uh, uh, you weren't looking as well, and now you come out better. Reborn again. Uh, that happens a lot in my tribe. People die and be reborn, reincarnated into something else. Reincarnation is part of your tribe? Well, yes. It's what I've been told. I haven't experienced it yet myself. Huh. 
Is it unfair. a belief? A belief? Mm. Interesting. Well, perhaps it might be linked. Maybe eventually you will become a Duskwalker, and then we can both be mm. Duskwalkers. That will come out beautiful. Well, you are beautiful. <gasps> it's true. I gotta go find your lizard. But the lizard is grabbing my book. Arashtak is grabbing my book. The lizard. Why does everybody call him the lizard? I don't it's know. Nice. I'm continuing to rub your hand, trying to warm it. <laughs> it's, um. Unfortunately, will not warm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well but then. I appreciate it. You feel very warm. Yes, I run hot. <sighs> Are you all right? I am. I went to go check on Malovic and I just wanted to remind him that he's not alone. He's one of us. Good. I think it's important to remind people from time to time. Yes. While we were in the cache, he, um, before he stormed off, he let it out that he was abandoned in some variations, so it is good mm. that we we are pushing to make sure he knows that he is not to be abandoned. Mm. It's important. But I no. mean, after what you saw, are you alright? Oh, yes. I'm fine. Um, you know, just War, beheadings, death, liches, skeletons, walking undead, curses, all of that. Um, I would argue that that is not all right, but I suppose, um, you and I have a little bit in common. A little bit. Not a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, did you want to talk about what they said in the memory cache? Um, I think that perhaps we can work towards figuring that out once we get more information on our current situation. Perhaps the truth will come to light. Uh, in and of itself. I'm doing a very good job of pretending I'm all right, right? Is it... You are? Good. <clears throat> Don't let the others know. Hmm. If you want to talk some other time. Yes, that would be good. Whenever yes. you're ready. You know that, um, the truth, the same is true of you, right? You don't... Oh. Just, uh, everyone's burdens. I'm an open book. If you want to ask me anything, I'm happy to answer it. Um, I'm of the belief of wear everything on your sleeve and you don't have to worry about anything stabbing you in the back. Well, perhaps we will talk about war and liches and whatnot. Um, soon. Oh, yes. Did you know that there are 21 ways to crush a skull? 21? Hmm. Well, I knew of 19. I was a medic. I suppose we'll have to talk about those too, the other two. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Wack. Uh, for our podcast listeners, Wack just pointed at his titties. <laughs> his big old titties. Oh, look, they're on their way back. Let me, let me read. Let me, give me the, give it to me. Give me I want to prove to you that. I can. Can, I, can I see it? Yes, you can see it. Oh. It is old. Be careful. Oh. Please Have tell you? me the title. It's, um, okay, hold, hold, wait, wait. Okay. <clears throat> Why is um, it smelling it? It, it says, smell. it says, oh, I want it to smell it. Shallows <laughs> of the, um, um, bone, um, 
Tales is Golarian. Uh, the tales, Boneyard? Tales of a, something about yeah, something about bones and, and tales of Galarian. Uh, shallow bones and tales of Galari- Got Galarian. Got about half of it. Um, and this one means all um, um, oh, bone yolk. What is bone yolk? Marrow. Marrow. Yes. Shallow marrow bone of Galarian with tales. What? This is a dinner book. Oh. It's a cookbook. Who's cooking? Uh, the recipe section is over there if you'd like to find one. But I, I like this one. Yeah, Thank they... you for letting me read. Mm, I feel of like course. I'm getting so much better. Shadows of the Boneyard, a Galarian tale. That's exactly this... what I said. Not shadow. Oh. Close, you were close. I it give you credit. On the, the cover. Of course, yes. It was a swoosh of dust. Yes. Oh, there was a swoosh. Hmm. I see. This is the book you required, I think, Yara. Wonderful. Um, may, may I? Yes. Though it is in Sylvan mostly. That's fine. I can read it for her. Ah. This is not in Sylvan. No, it's not my mistake. It's what language common. is this in? This is in Galarian Common. <gasps> Never mind. The cover was in Syl- the Sylvan? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, Maybe to help yes. the people in the establishment. Mm. Yes, you should be able to read it fine. Wonderful. Yeah. Very good. And I rush to a table and begin to read it. Why are we reading this? It's... It is regarding her peoples. Her people? I do not think she knows uh, very much about her Duskwalker heritage. Uh, she said she was something else before she walked in turn into one of what she is today. Most are to my knowledge, but it is lacking. She's worried that people are staring at her for unknown reasons. People always stare. They don't need a good reason. Yes, I understand, but they did treat her differently. I was going to say something. Yes. I said um, Arashtakus due to her beauty. Hmm. You, you come from a tribe, yes? I, yes. Mm, so you understand? Yes. Mm, good. Good. Yes. Um. <clears throat> uh, well, what do we want to do while she uh, reads? I would like to go for, uh, sustenance. Uh, wise. Yes. I think she will be a while. <clears throat> Have her come with us. Bring the book. No books may leave the place of learning. Can we bring the food here? Uh, doubtful. Hmm. If, what if we ask? I will go ask. If we can borrow the book. They said no last time. Mm, I think I said take last time. What's the word for borrow? I tell him the name, the word borrow in Sylvan. Mm. Make sure your inflection is on the third syllable. Mm, okay. <clears throat> um. Excuse me. You approach someone that is working there. They turn towards you. It's a, uh, a woman that uh, has long hair, is very lithe, um, and um, is wearing um, beiges and blues. Um, she turns towards you. Uh, she has a pointy nose. Um, 
and looks at you with uh, solid black eyes. I'll puff out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes? <clears throat> you have a nice place. Lots of pleasurable things here. Thank you. Please make either a society roll or diplomacy, I guess. That's a four. Love your mm, books. They are very beautiful. I would like to take no um brew your book. What? Was it a second syllable or a third syllable? Brew! Your book. For Arashtok. The person looks so confused. Because he has search for answers. You understand. Yes. Oh, did you wish me to do something no? about it? No, no. Mm. Let's see how he can handle this. Can we... Can we borrow... borrow can we? Uh, books are for reading, not for brewing. Mm. I said the word for brewing. Cannot tea. brew it. Oh. Okay. Understood. Totally third syllable. Mm. Mm. Is there any way to brew a book from yes, here? Yes, but they would not like it. I will be fast. No. Okay. Why would right. you brew a book? Is it some alchemical formula? No, no, not not brew book on alchemy. No, brew book on bones. Boneyard shadows. Brew shadow boneyard book. You're getting loud. Oh, but that uh, doesn't make me understand you any better. Some, sorry. <laughs> Okay. Maybe we should just go for a walk, get some food. Yes. Uh, Let Yara have some time to herself. Mm. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry. I uh, I understand. <laughs> and then I'll just do eyebrows. I'm glad that someone does. And I'll walk away. They said they will not let us borrow any books. Mm. Because the books are not for borrowing. But something about alchemy. Mm. Some of that sentence was correct, yes. I said it like you said it, but maybe I am too hard with my words. I don't know. That but to let us go. It may be correct, yes. Uh, we get food, and then. But Yara needs to eat as well. I have not seen her eat in days. Is she, I have made sure she has eaten. Mm. The rations. Oh, oh. rations I'll, is not really eating. I'll tell that her that we're gonna go to get something, and we can just grab something for her too. Mm. Yes. Yara. Uh, uh, yes. Sorry to disturb you. We're just going to go get something to eat while you read here. Is there anything that you want in particular? Hmm. You know what I haven't had in a bit? Sweets. Hmm. If you find anything sweet, I would like that. All right. I will uh, try to be brief. Apologies. I realize I um, sort of just oh, sat down and made this decision, but um, this I don't is know important. how long we'll be here. Take your time. This is very important stuff. Thank you. Yara, I will feast for you. 
I should go before we get kicked out. <laughs> Tell him I would have it no other way. <laughs> Very good. Very good. All right. Enjoy your food. Yara says to enjoy the food and to get her something sweet. Yarashak, do you have a smile? You're always so gloomy. It I, affects my mood. I smile all the time. No, oh, no, you lie to me. Why, why would I? That's fine. I, Since you lied to me, food is on you. Now, Rastak, treat me. I will lead the way. How do I look unpleasant, Celia? You look wonderful, Rastak. Come now! I am hungry. Uh, he's an odd one. <laughs> Let's go get something to eat. Yes. Uh, a place with meat will probably satisfy him. <clears throat> Any cakes? Hmm. Make a perception check for me, please, Arcelia. Wow. 28. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you smell that? It... I thought you yes. said it was fine. It was fine. Oh. It smells like honey or something like honey. Something sweet. Yes. And yeast. Bread? Cake? Meat. Perhaps sweet rolls. Hmm. Meat rolls. No, sweet. Honey. Yes. But I want meat rolls now. We, we will also mm. get that. Yara requested sweets. Sweet. Mm. Actually, <laughs> I think I did see a, um, a sort of, uh, it's not really a bakery. I don't know what they call it here. I can't read the text too well. But uh, follow me. Let me show you over here. Mm. There. There it is. Hey, you! There's a startled-looking uh, elf that is, sort of looks a little bewildered. It's me, Malavik. You know, you remember me, <laughs> don't you? There's just like really like fast nodding happening uh, right now. Fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'll help. I'll help. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> they look the absolutely time. panicked. The first time we met. I apologize for your stall, but I hope you rebuild it. It looks good. Yes, uh, there was an issue. I ran into it, broke it down. They're, they're like frantically looking like other side eye to uh, either of you as well. <laughs> yes. Hello. Sweat visibly uh, forming. Uh, yes, they make the best, best bread and sweets here, don't you? They think <laughs> you are threatening them. No, Malavik. I am. I am, I am happy to see that they are still alive. If you think I do not smile, I think you are too aggressive. Uh, oh. Uh. I um, think that you are passionate. I agree. Yes, I am just passion. speaking on appearances as he did. Oh, do I, am I a bit too harsh to the locals? Is what you're trying to say? Yes, he is oh. visibly panicked. Oh, okay. Let me uh, let me try this. Rashtak, I'm... you can see that the um, the name on display here is Moonlit Morsels Bakery. Ah, Moonlit Morsels Bakery. Mm. Pretty. Uh, do you have cakes? As I probably maybe see them in front of me. Uh, yes, uh, the <laughs> menu is here. Thank you. We will be purchasing one. Can I get one of everything? On the menu. Oh, you have you the following. Have Signature offerings. Star flower biscuits. Sunburst scones. Elder tree loaf. <gasps> celestial my, swirl pastries. My favorites. Feywild macarons. 
lullaby so tarts. Hungry. And beverages offered. A moonlit tea and a forest berry elixir. Uh, uh, I'm laying this. Get the purple one, the purple one. Can we just get one of each? I'm starving. Get, we need to get real food first, Darcelia. This is food. What are you this talking about? It's food, but there is no... Or I'll stuck the purple one, the purple one. Yes, the, the elixir. Yes. They're called appetizers. Uh, it's called this... <laughs> Look, when it comes in, it's really pretty. It's like a potion bottle. I like it. Can I have it? You may buy it if you wish. No, I you're am treating not me, remember. Mo- no, that Please is what get you it for s- me. I'll walk away. S- the purple one! Is he a child when he is in this town? Would you like me to describe each of the things? Oh no, I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, before you describe them, can we actually purchase these? Will our money still be good here? Of course. Okay, yeah, go. I'm ready. Starflower biscuits are small, star shaped biscuits with a delicate lavender infused glaze. There's a calming aroma that emanates from it. Sunburst scones are made with a sun-kissed honey and studded with crystallized petals, capturing the essence of Castrovel's vibrant flora. The elder tree loaf, a rustic, crusty bread featuring seeds and nuts from ancient elvish trees. It's said that consuming it imparts a sense of wisdom. Celestial swirl pastries are delicate, flaky pastries filled with exotic fruit preserves named for their resemblance to swirling galaxies in the night sky. I'm saying all of these things because I'm going to force Dan to make all of this stuff. Uh, I know what you're doing! (laughs) I am very aware! (laughs) The Feywild macarons are colorful, bite-sized macarons with velvety cream. Each one is infused with a different natural essence, making them a delightful sensory experience. The lullaby tarts are tiny tarts filled with a blend of celestial fruits and magical herbs. They are known for their soothing effects and are often enjoyed with herbal tea. The moonlit tea is a fragrant chai tea blend with moonflower petals invoking a sense of tranquility. Mm. The forest berry elixir is made from crushed forest berries, said to boost one's connection to nature. Uh, uh, Rasta. Yes. I have found. I I see you're back. You, what? I would like for you to get it all. One of each. Uh, all right. Did you did you just say you found that? Where did you find it? Do we see someone who looks very concerned in the crowd? Uh, I don't know. Do we, Melvick? <laughs> I rolled an ace. <laughs> You did a thievery check? Uh, yeah, definitely. What? Did did you just rob that person? No, it, it, it fell on the ground and I picked it up. Why am I the moral come? No, I, I, I no, picked it up. Someone stole my purse. No, I, I found it. Someone stole my... It was on the ground. Um, oh, uh, man, please make a check. Oh, I, I was, it, it was, okay, it was on the ground. I just picked it up. If I would have rolled high, I would have kept it. I would have been able to keep it without notice. But No, no, you don't get to just make up whatever you want because you rolled a no, thievery it check. <laughs> It'll be fine. What It'll am I rolling? <laughs> um, We're going to need a deception roll. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Deception? You can argue performance. Okay, great. 12. Rerolling it. Please. Um. How many hero oh, points do you have? You can only reroll once. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's a nine. I saw him steal it. Um. He took it what? right from your belt pouch. Why? I did feel someone pull something from me. I did. I would never have assumed I was. Someone uh. stole my purse. Mm -hmm. I just try to hand it back. Mm. They no. grab it furiously. Help! Oh, Help! Well, hold on a second. There seems to have been a misunderstanding. I don't think there we... was a misunderstanding. There's two elves now that are sort of uh, in this conversation with you. Uh, one of them is uh, probably uh, older for an elf, which means they're probably very old. Uh, the other one is uh, seemingly... Uh, I don't know, kind of average looking for an elf, which could be any real denomination of years. It's hard to tell. Um, and and uh, the older one has white hair. The uh, the uh, middling age one has um, long black hair. And the one with long black hair says, I saw you take it. You pulled um, it off of his belt. It, it was hanging. Uh, it was going to fall off. Hold on a second. Perhaps we can come to some Zorash talk translating it here. <sighs> I think I'm still at the bakery. <laughs> I don't we think are. I went and dealt with this at all. <laughs> okay. Tell. He has been mean to me all day. It was I doubt I want to help him. <laughs> I essentially begin to take out gold pieces to try no, no. to offer them. No, no, no. A misunderstanding. Ah, uh, Arcelia, was, you, can, was, uh, you can make a diplomacy check. It was hanging Ma off. Malavik, stop. Look, man, I had to retire. Look, the loop. it's not strong enough. 24. Malavik. Okay, roll me a... Uh, Roll me three d twenties. Do I want high or low on this? Low. Oh. Uh, Almost average. Thirty-seven yeah. uh, gold. No, to, to, you do not. To uh, barter your way out of this. Are you kidding me? I only have seven. <laughs> no, it's I fine. just hand my whole no, gold pouch no. over. I, I, I'll push it back in the hand. No. Malavik, um, please. We don't need to escalate the situation. It's a misunderstanding. That's what I'm trying to get across. Why would, why would I? <sighs> They're like and frantically I'll, 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 speaking in Sylvan, by the way. Malavik, yeah. you're only picking up every other, yeah, like, you I'm, know, I'm, every I'm trying to word. talk back. I'm just like, um, Hanging for about to fall? Belt loop I take to give to Lizard. And they're just so, frantically yeah. gesturing like, you can't take our money. This is yes, this is my me. money. You can't just no, take, take it. Money. Yes, yes. Take, uh, trying to I'm shove. Getting angrier. <laughs> just take this. No, This don't. is all I have. Uh, I... I just shove the bag back in their hand. Um, okay, they take the they take the gold, and um, Malavik make a perception check. Okay. Twenty-one. Yeah. Um, you hear something along the uh, lines of. Won't forget. <laughs> they storm off. <sighs> With my coin pouch. Yeah. I was not. Okay. I was not trying to steal it. <sighs> it's all right. I believe you. It's okay. It was. I did take it. But it was hanging from there. It's going to fall. So it's I, all right, Malavik. I it's over. It. I was trying to. <sighs> I just get angry, frustrated. <laughs> so Rostak like walk over like full of baked goods. <laughs> he's just he's got chocolate all over his face or something. <laughs> 
is. The bread is very good. We needed you. Why? It's, it's fine. We took care of the situation. It's time for us to eat. I was not stealing. You took their coin purse. <sighs> yes. And I tried to bring it to me. Yes. And You're the only one to understand. I can't conversate easily. Then do not steal. I. <sighs> your actions, your consequences. You're just like the rest of them. I brush past him and go back to the library. Doesn't understand, Arcidia. No it's one right. does. It's fine. In the end of the day, they all go away anyway. I'm going I've to got go your buy back. food. Yeah. Do you have any money? I hand over all my gold to our city. No, I don't want it. Just buy me something. It. it always causes trouble. I don't want it. But I am hungry. And I will buy you food. You'll treat me? Yes. Excellent. And I won't steal it. Do they have like... Turkey legs or steak here. So, uh, let's see what we've got. Um, in terms of in terms of places to eat around here, there is the uh, Sylvan Bistro. There is the Gleaming Petal Tea House, the Stardust Cafe, the Lore Keeper's Hearth, the Stellar Spice Tavern. And the celestial canopy. My um, place. Now, I just want to be clear: you don't have a translator for this, so all of that comes out garbled. I'm using my nose. You have to roll. What I'll say: what you see is uh, there are um, at the Sylvan Bistro. It appears that you would see some fruits and greens. And there are, um, uh, there, there is some, like, uh, fauna that has been caught and, um, is cooking. You can smell some meat being cooked there. Um, mm -hmm. at the tea house, um, you can see there's, like, sandwiches and things that are there and some pastries. And at the cafe, there's a lot of, um, vegetables and salads at the um, hearth, there is a sort of rustic-looking place, wild mushrooms, and um, there are some animals being cooked there, and fruit. Does, does it smell like a grill? Yes. That one. Okay. Mm. Yes. I can smell the meat. And I'll walk up. Uh... <laughs> There is a shorter, uh, elven man that's there, uh, that greets you. Hail! I look down, um... Hi. I am Malavik. This... Arcelia. We are... Hungry for meat. Please show us good meats. Society or diplomacy? Whatever you like. Can I help? Gods. I. Yeah. I, you I can. Am... You can help. Okay. Uh, I gesticulate as politely as I can, bowing my head, um, uh, gesturing towards the kitchen. Twenty-three. Yeah. Wow. How Wait, did you get some that, kind of condition? Oh, I think that's. I think something's you, wrong with that. You left. You left the condition on, maybe. Uh, so it's no. a two. Yay! <laughs> I don't have a condition. I don't know why I did that. Can I roll again just to see? No. 
What was the other one? <laughs> no, they're, both, they're both negative one. Maybe just work. try and toggle it, and it'll go away. Uh, I don't um, know how to... Okay. I don't know why so, uh, like Arcelia's got a 23 here. Uh, that's going to help you, uh, but not enough. <laughs> they just look three. very... <laughs> yeah, they look, this man looks very confused. <sighs> Gosh. Um, and I'll just bring out my money. Or my bag of gold and say, You want beaks? Hmm. Uh, look, is, is there anything on display? There are like things beaks. on display. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an open flame, you know? Um, oh, okay, it's an great. open flame kind of grill. You can see somebody's <clears throat> cooking in the background. They've got, like, some kind of steak or something that's cooking. And it'd probably be... Uh... It would probably be about dusk by now, I think. So it's, yeah. yeah I mean, people are moving around, and they're, this is a very populated area of, uh, of town. <gasps> oh, uh, that, uh. that, yes, that. Oh. oh, meat. Yes, yes. Oh, meat. Please. Yes. Come inside. Yes, this, uh, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is fine. Yes, yes. Oh, hmm. this is very nice. No. They said that I'm used to. It smells know. divine in here. Um, would you eat here or with the others? No, let's sit down. Let's eat. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, oh, um, I'm so hungry. Arcelia and Malavik sit down for a meal. And we join <laughs> Yara and Rashtak. Yara, I would like you to please make a hmm. I think I'm going to need you to make a let's see. I will take hmm. I will take a society roll. I will take an occultism roll. Or Arcana, and you don't right. have the lore that I think you would need for the lore no, version. No. All right, you said it was either society, Arcana, or occultism. Occultism. Um, I or will go religion. with or religion. I would take religion. or religion. Yeah. All right, I'll go with religion then. Okay. All right. I will re-roll that. A 13 being re-rolled. 18. 18. Okay. So, Yara, you're trying to pour over this as much as possible. Um, you can only read so much in a, uh, in a small period of time. But from what you gather, this is some kind of story about a Duskwalker named Serafina. This is a tale... Serafina trying to learn about her past and you read the do you read the synopsis first or do you read do you go right into it I feel as if I would be thorough and I would read the synopsis beforehand. Okay. Um. Actually, I don't think you'd be able to because that would probably be on the jacket and that would be in silver. Fair enough. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll have a rush talk translate it when it gets a moment. Very well. Um, the first chapter, then, if you're reading it in order, or are you skimming through? I think I would be reading it in order. All right. Give me a moment here. The 
The prologue is about an enigmatic dream that sets the stage for Serafina's journey into the mysteries of the Plain of Shadow and the secrets of their Duskwalker heritage. The first chapter is an introduction to Serafina. And her life in the in an elvish scholar town on Castravel, interestingly enough. Well, that is quite creepy if I'm to admit it. seems to mirror Laskia Lua. <laughs> Although they don't say it outright. Well, that would explain the weird looks as I turn page by page, mutter to myself. Probably about this time that Arash talk returns. I have brought sweets, uh, though I doubt you can eat them right now, in here. That is a lot of sweets. Are they uh, in a bag, Arashtok? Uh, yes, I would put them in a bag for sure. Just walking around with them into the place of There would place clearly of learning. be a sign on the door, by the way, that says no food or drink. Yes, hence the bag. <laughs> oh. Yes. So they need to not be removed. All right, well, um, perhaps I will go ahead and I will just gather with you all, eat, and I'll spend some time later today or something reading more. We need to discuss much anyway. Mm. They're eating right now, I think. Very good. And we shall find them and so shall we, yes? Sure, yes. Are you all right? Uh, 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 Malavik is... Ignorant. We all are ignorant in our own ways, are we not? Mm. Yes. He will learn. We'll see. Mm. All right. Uh. Um... Yes, the book giving you the knowledge you seek. Well, it's interesting, actually. Um, it starts with the perspective of a, dusk a Duskwalker by the name of Serafina. Mm. And I would continue to tell him of this uh, novel as we begin to make our way out. I would probably put the book back where it belongs so that I can easily come back and read it once again. That is interesting, though. Hmm. Uh, Why would they have been here? Well, they don't say exactly that it's Castravel. Um. It but. Seems like it from what you said, though. Indeed. <laughs> Wasn't. Hmm. <laughs> My memory is failing me. Was... Wasn't there someone that communicated with this place that had not been heard for some time? With this place, as in, um... Here? Yes. Oh! What was their name? Yes, yes, remember we were... We were all up in arms about it because we did not want any sort of information getting back to someone, right? Correct. Oh, what was their name? I did not have anything to write it down at the time, but perhaps uh, Celia would have remembered. It was, uh, it was something about uh, Skywatch Observatory, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, 
Mm. For some reason, I think that may... If that was... Uh, connected here, perhaps this story has something connected as well. Perhaps. Grasping at straws, I admit, but... Uh, coincidences rarely are. Yes. Well... I suppose we'll find out. We have many mysteries to unlock, it seems. Mm -hmm. Oh, and later I will need you to translate the synopsis for me. Admittedly, it is in uh, Sylvan as well, I believe. Ah, they must have had someone who could speak common and did a mild, quick translation. Hmm. Uh, do you well... wish for me to look at it now or later? Oh, we can do that later. Um so that we, we get all of that out of the way. Mm. Um, we need to fill the others in on what it is exactly we learned from Gentile and, and whatnot. Um, yes. Do you have any idea where they would have gone? Yeah, probably wherever the meat is being grilled or cooked. And or were the laughing is where there is meat being cooked. Yes, that ah. specifically says grilled meats. Oh. Uh, and there is the only other green person in the city. Arsenia, Malavik. And I uh. say, why do you always look so grey? And you know, at, at that time they they just say, oh. <laughs> Oh, hi. <laughs> I have yeah. retrieved Yara. Hello. <laughs> Word. Do you want some meat? We've got a whole table of it. That's okay if you don't. Sit well, down. I'll have, I'll have a sliver. I'm more interested in what sweets were brought in, but I should uh, have something that is not going to, um, cause yes. me to well, burst. After bringing outside food is generally frowned upon in establishments. We're going to have to wait. <gasps> yes. You are right. You're right. All right. I'll nibble on some meat. Uh, is there any uncooked or very, very, very rare meats? Uh, are you looking? I mean, you can. I mean, they're I obviously at one point are. If there's anything like just set upon the grill, I'll point at it and. That's one, please. Yes, and how would you like it cooked? That way. I kind of show my fangs. Uh, rarer is fine. Oh, all right. Um, they bring it over. I don't mind if it's mostly rare for myself, but I also take and, like, pull a small piece off and open my pocket and feed it to my little new friend. <laughs> ah, very good. Yes, the monitor. We need you bigger. Mm. So, um, we spoke with our friend Gentil. Um, essentially, we are to retrieve, um, the final ingredient that was discussed. Um, we must <clears throat> do some sort of a uh, summoning to bring out, um, she who walks through seasons. A summoning? Yes, Ma um, Magic? No, yes. no. Uh, well, sort of. It's more like giving an offering and she'll show up. But it needs to be. Yes. Um, what was it? It was lots of uh, fruits and what else? Oh. Was it fungus? Good. Yes, fruit edible fungus. Easy. Give. We offer the. Well, not baby. easy. Like a hundred pounds of it. Offer the baby. What baby? Whatever you took from the fungus. Yeah. I'm sure we could find all sorts of vegetation around the jungle. Right? Yes. What if we go back down and collect all the fungus that was down there? Seems like a hundred pounds of it. 
Why does he wish to kill an entire species? They're already dead. No. You killed them. No. Your light only lasts 24 hours. Yes, they are able to move and relocate as they need. Oh, okay, well. Never mind. At least there's a shiny shield involved. Poor joke. Yes. All right. Anyway, so we need fruits and fungus um, in order to uh, go ahead and do this summoning and then we need to blow on some sort of a, a <laughs> horn, a spore horn, whatever yes. that means. I believe it will be provided for us or perhaps in the spire itself. Do you think that magical satchel of yours could help us satisfy these requirements for... Yes. Well, I mean, it was... Uh, maybe. Mount? What? Uh, no. Perhaps some of the dried, but I assume it wants fresh berries mm. and fungus and fruits, not dried, preserved. I do not wish to uh, take shortcuts. Satchel mm. definitely will not be able to do this. Mm. What is this? Spirit? Is it a uh, spirit? Is it a god? Demi-god. Uh, Demi-god. Yes. Uh, not uh -huh. some... So, the way it was explained to us is um, she's not necessarily uh, 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 celestial in nature or, like, godly in nature. That um, uh, she's more of a... What was the word he used? Um... Do you remember what word it was? It's more of an elevated being. An avatar. An avatar. Is that the word? Mm. A representation of a nature god. A jungle. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, <sighs> we are we to, to gather back. up. Yes, we To do. the east, yes. Mm -hmm. the, the east. The offering spire. I, I would like then. to... I would like to open my books and try to flip through them. Is it possible for me to try to esoteric lore this being? You definitely can try. Okay. Wow, not 20, 28. What? <sighs> I'm going to say this is probably notes that you took from the place of learning. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, there's no new information that you really have here. It's just kind of backing up what um, Yara is saying. It's this sort mm -hmm. of not quite, it's a demigod kind of situation happening. A demigod, like a part beast, part god. And this... Um, demigod is worshipped uh, as an avatar of the jungle itself. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. I remember reading about this in the House of Learning. I can confirm everything you just said. It's a minor deity. Demigod. Well... I have not traveled far east. You'll be running into unknown dangers. Mm. Yes. Within... <laughs> we may need to prepare more than we ever have. I do not think that this will be as easy of a time as we had. As you know, we did not have an easy time at all. Hmm. Yes, well, perhaps we will um, take some time to relax and take care of ourselves, um, freshen up, what have you. Do we have things for trade? <sighs> for trade as in uh, anything in particular? Do you plan on using the shield? Yes. I'm sorry, is the impl- just, uh, I hate to butt in here, but is, uh, is the implication that you need to purchase the offering? No. Okay. 
equipment for travels. I think the implication is that we're gonna somehow find the offering along the way, right? Yes. At least that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, we may need to find someone here who knows about um, fruits and plant life. Uh, maybe they have been to the expanse to understand where there would be more growth. One of the places we were scouting out for food had a, a whole bunch of different colored fruit. Well, yes. true, that's in the other direction. Mm. There is a place that I may want to check, but it's dangerous. Mm. Typically, at least on Galarian, watching our farmers, our collectors, do things as green as the most fruitful where there is a lot of, well, shit. Hmm. Ah, but a large beast causing it, yes. Hmm. Uh. Maybe a drake. Yeah. Uh. Or insect folks. Those that uh. regurgitate chewed earth. Uh, something of that nature an abundance now the thing that I would like to say is we may not need many but we need weight things here grow very strangely why find hundreds when we can find few that may weigh a lot mm. there were specifics on how much we need right uh, yes uh... I, don't rem- I did not remember the exact amount, but I believe it was written down. Many pounds. 100 pounds. Mm. 100? Yes. A lot. Mm. If what if we went over 100? Do you think it would be a problem? Uh, over? No, I do not think so. Good. More offering is never usually shunned. How much weight can your bag, the new bag hold, that we found? Uh, the new bag is empty. It is much the same as uh, Rostock's, so uh, how much pounds? his can hold. Good. But well, we have our means of collecting. And it we just will need a location. too, which is mm. good. Very mm. good. Do you think we might need some equipment to climb trees? Most fruit are on trees, aren't they? I would like to equipment to climb for sure, actually. Hmm. I do not want to climb. I remember what's in trees. You well, could always shake it and have the fruits fall. <laughs> I can if, do that. If these are 40 pound fruits, I don't think we want them to fall from the tree. No, silly, you said you always have my back, yes? Yes. Then you just have to look at the fruit as it falls. Okay. Is that not honorable enough? I'm sorry. Well, perhaps climbing equipment would still be quite good to have in case of emergency. But what if something's up the tree and knocks you off, said tree? Well, then you will be more secure than if you climbed the tree and did not have climbing gear, yes? I can always cut it down. No, 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 no. Um... What if we find a rock face we need to climb? We have to get to the top of whatever it is that, you know, because we have to get this water, right? So perhaps we might need to climb. So It did uh, say spire, yes. I see your point. Mm. Mm. So we can buy a little bit of gear. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy. <sighs> I will buy the gear. Actually. Um. Excuse me. Uh, you can see this server comes over, like, looking a little wary as, as uh, he approaches. Hello. Meat was very good. I need price of this meat and hers. You found a beak? <sighs> he wishes to know what is owed. Ah. Yes. 
I wish to know what's owed for the meat. Did I say that right? No, you said beak. Meat. Yeah. What is meat? Meat. <laughs> meat. Uh, it's seven silver pieces. All right, fine. And I hand over eight silver pieces. Uh, did he have difficulty? It's, it's seven. No. Uh, tell them. Mm. <sighs> Good for um, extra uh, tips or something. I don't know the word. He wishes to give you extra as thank you. Why? Kindness? <laughs> I'll just smile. Uh, it is easier to accept than argue with him. Thank you. Ah, I understood. They are, they are happy. Yes. Good. Thank you. Well. Is there any other gear or things we might need? Anything that you all felt we were at a deficit for during our travels? We might need a little saw, a hand saw, something portable. Hmm. A hand saw for cutting? Harvesting, cutting. Oh. Oh, what about one of those long blades for like cutting, cutting, cutting the greenery? Hello. Oh, a yes. machete. Yeah. Gentiel yes. uh, is at the ah. door waving. There you are. I found you. I gesture him to come. He walks inside. I am sorry to bother you. But I felt bad about our previous conversation. Um, I've asked several strong young elves to guide you to the offering spire when you are ready. They will bring ropes and offerings, but you must complete this task yourself if you wish to speak um, to, to not speak if you wish to partake partake in the waters so they will have the offerings for us we do not need to go and gather them yes wonderful hmm very good. good. Are there any surprises, Gentil, that we need to prepare for? Have you been east? Uh, I have been east, yes. It good. is different land than the expanse. It is <laughs> a more calm but there are uh, still dangers. Good. Drink with us, and I'll hand him my, my cup. Uh, thank you. Uh. Drinks. I... And I look towards the Rostock. <sighs> Was... And look me towards Cecilia. Over passionate earlier. I apologize for my look back to Arasha. Aggression. There were things that was unexpected. It made me feel a certain way, but as time go on, 
as drink settled in, I realize that it is not your fault. You lost your mother. To see her displayed in that way was hard. Um, I apologize for my <sighs> behavior. Are you doing this in Sylvan or are you speaking in common? Both. Okay. Make a society or a diplomacy roll. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Gentile's kind of nodding. Uh, I must stop you there. This is considered an honor amongst my people. Beheadings. No. Our knowledge is shared. Ah. Uh. We. Feed the garden with our knowledge forever. In service. Yes. Almost like in service to a god. Mm. Many here uh. worship Desna. But we are all scholars we want our knowledge to be passed down mm. so that others may learn teachings that pass down my mother mm. is honored having this place i i understand And I apologize. Mm. I hope you um, understand. And you have been nothing but helpful. And I apologize to my, how can I say, uh, companions as well. One more thing. I may have stolen something by accident. If you could please clear my name. From the memory cache? No. I stole or have taken a bag of gold. It seemed like it was bad, but mm. it's hard to explain. I wasn't trying to... Just know my intentions are not ill will. Uh, you. If you hear rumors. Wh where did you steal this bag of gold from? Uh, and I described the elves. Mm. From a and person? The bag was hanging loosely, it was going to drop. I took it off to rebind it. But I wanted to give it back, give it to a Rostock mm. to explain, but I froze. And I just got angry, frustrated. I could not explain. I see you lost their gold in the process. Uh, I didn't I just... lose it. I gave it to them as a means of to smooth things over. It is my fault. I do not want to cause any more trauma for this group or you. I do not know this person of which you speak, um, but I will see what I can do. If I need to perform an act of duty, just tell me. <sighs> it's hard being different. You may... You may, if I may suggest this, 
when you take some of she walks water use some to cleanse yourself like a ritual yes I will take a note of this I also need to learn your language. <laughs> All right. He does that mm, sort of uh, think where you are still learning, and it has not been that long. Um, you are from another world. This I am is... intelligent, strong. Yes. I can crack skulls with my hands. Why would you do such things? Sometimes it's necessary. I, I would argue. I have so, to agree. Yes. See. I so can't do it. I can. But I'm, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I will cleanse myself. I will, and I will tell you all about it. Thank you. Um... When will you set out? Perhaps this time. after arrest? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Yara. Tomorrow, yes. I will let the elf guides know. Well, if you aren't in a rush, perhaps you can join us for food. Yes. I have not been here in some time. Usually, I prefer to dine at the Lord Keeper's Hearth. Does that have a swoosh on it? What is a swoosh? I've been thinking <sighs> the same thing this entire time. Everyone else seems to know what a swoosh is. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Drink up, and I'll just keep putting my cups in front of him. I would like to flirt with Gentiel as they're eating. Sure. Uh, nice. Go ahead and make a... Let's see. I put my titties on the table. Natural 20. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and Diplomacy? Make... Intimidation. <laughs> uh, I will take um, probably a flat charisma check. She is far from flat. Hiya! I'm gonna reroll that shit. Ugh, nice. Into a twenty. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. mm. Wow. Gentiel does a thing where he's like drinking and then glances over and then just starts. It starts like traveling like, out of. <laughs> I would like to nudge him and like mm. lean over like. So you read a lot of books. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I, I read a, a lot of books, yes. Me too. Are you all right? You look like you're about to pass out. Hmm. What? 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 You said, you said something. What did you say? Drink! I said you look like you were about to pass out, and I believe you're proving my point. <laughs> Drink! I, I am Cheers. Drinking. No. I think oh. he means drink more. Drink it. Oh. We'll clink our glasses together. What, what is yeah. this custom? Mm. Ah, the celebration before the battle. You drink to your. It can your be a mind. metaphorical battle. Yes. It's a way of rallying the spirit. Yes, the yes. Exactly. Spirit of companionship. Mmm, yes. In tribes, you drink, you celebrate before you go into a battle, Gentil. You battle every day with your books. So now, knowledge, you consume it in the form of your rare liquors. Yes, more! Ah! Mm. Mm, come, come! I'll see you, show I him! Can't, I can't. No, mm. oh, pace yourself, pace yourself. I need yeah. you to tell me about these books Alright, do you always have to drink through that weird device? Uh, Put it up to your lips so. and suck the glory out of it. Our anatomy is different. Then open your mouth and, and drop it in. 
Let us see the marvel of your teeth. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay maybe not. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now it's you, come way on. to enjoy tea. Yara, please, no pinky up. Grab it with both hands and take it all in. But I have a fancy accent. Would would obligate it to have a pinky out when drinking. Do you have an absent accent while you're gulping it down? That's fair. Come, come. Drink. Oh, something just went down my shirt. It's f f quite all right. Gentio. I'm now. supposed to do that. Is oh, it? Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> Memories of home. Very good. Uh, flashbacks to that one night, Arcelia and I got way too fucked up. I would like to hear about this. Mm. Fucked up. <clears throat> no. That was a fun one. Oh. I carried you at one point. What? Oh, you did? You did, and then you passed out in my bedroll. Whoa! Oops. Wait! I must hear this! Yara, Arcelia, Arastak. I am very interested. Didn't y'all? And I'll nudge him. This is where the story gets good. Now they... They passed <laughs> out and I went and... Oh, the stop river. you monster! You made them both pass out. Was it before or after we fought that one person with the, the flute? Uh, that was... His name is Voltaine, right? Uh, yes. Uh, you I both. think that was before. Was it before? Oh, yes. it was a celebratory drink then. No. We drink a lot, don't we? We do drink a lot. It was uh, beforehand you were oh. exploring the city, I believe. The opera. Yes, 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 yes I recall. Oh, the opera. I'll put my arm around Gentile. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I see what you're staring at, you young warrior, you. Because you must take to the battlefield. Knowledge you is to are, be had between two mountains. Back. Then, oh, there were some so exploding zo Oh, zombies were falling from the ceiling. Do you remember? Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. They were summoned. I must work on my translation. Hmm, that's fine. It sounded very uh, strange what you just said. Mm. They were correct in Sylvan. If they said and you heard zombies falling from the ceiling, that is indeed what happened. Yes. Mm, indeed. And I used my divine magics on them, and Arcelia used her ferocious. I used my battle axe. Mm. And a battle axe. Mm. Oh. Smashed one's head. It exploded oh. like a melon. You have this in you. I would like to see this a lot, like right now. Do you want to arm wrestle? <gasps> Let's go. I would love that to makes... watch this. <laughs> I'm going to arm wrestle Malavik Again, this is right now. Two. Should right. I allow her? I'll ask Jinta if I allow her win this time. I, I, I don't know what you are going to do. It's okay. Watch this and I'll like... I'll grab her hand. Do you want to do athletics or strength? Strength? Straight? Give strength. Give strength. Okay. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I wanted to. I really wanted to roll low. I'm ready. Uh, Are you ready? Yes. And I'll like wink at Jinty all. <sighs> And I hope the physics took over. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So Malavik, you're totally like faking it, and then you get like launched. <laughs> you tumble up, you tumble like over out of your chair. Celia. <laughs> I'm in love. Are you all right? Gentio, did you see it? Yes. <sighs> I saw everything. Gentio's like looking straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, I'm just looking at Gentio like, yes, yes. Another one. <laughs> you don't know what to court, do you? Yeah, ten. <laughs> Ooh. This one is a pitch battle. Yeah, I'm just staring at Jinji all the whole time, smiling like. 
<laughs> ah, that was good. That was good. Mm. Yeah, Yara. Yes. Is this a mating ritual? Mm. Not that I know. If it's more so, um, one of those things where you say, you know, my horse is bigger than yours. It's a competition. Gentle. Uh, normally, in you our would tribes. mate with Yara, wouldn't you? You find her beautiful. <laughs> What? It feels like <laughs> he's got like know, mid think, like That is why everyone I think stares I was at right. her. That's why everyone stares at her. Yes, because she's beautiful. I'd uh, mate with Yara. <laughs> yeah, see, see, Yara. I, I knew it. Said all of them. We all will mate with Yara. What? No, 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 no. What? I'm sorry. Arastak is already tired. Both of you, as you told the story. I would not mate with them. Not You've already them. done it. To stop being modest. Mm. No, he did not mate. The anatomy doesn't work I that way. We did, did a cuddle sleep, puddle, I think. No, they passed out. They drank a lot. Oh. Mm. And we were all made with you, Yara. One day, <laughs> we'll prove our worth in a battle what? for your goods. <laughs> yes, drink! Drink to that. Is Cheers, this, everyone. Is this a normal custom on Galarian? <laughs> No, no, it is not normal. Yes. <laughs> Drink up. I must harden. I must Can harden my body thing? to prepare for this battle. And also, Celia. What? You are like a, a warrior, sister. Hmm, I, I told find you. That very attractive. So does Gentio. You mm. find your sister attractive? War sister, <laughs> Yara. <laughs> It's not the same thing. It's not oh, the same thing. Mm. It's someone you go to battle with, like a shield maiden. Someone who can crack a skull with your hands. Someone that can, while you take the upper body, they take the lower body. Someone that can wrap intestines around the victim and choke them with it at the same time, showing them the true strength of what it means to be disemboweled. So, like uh, how Arashchuk uh, and I sort of work our spells together, and we talk getting, things out, and getting uh, we, we make up for what so each sorry. other lacks. Yes, yes, and uh, whatever you do with your magic spells. Uh, mm. Does that make sense to you now, Arashchuk? No. Normally, it doesn't a lot to me of either. our mating rituals are in a big pile. What? I would like to know more about this pile of it's rituals. reptilian mm. in nature. Uh, uh, how many does it take? Gentile is taking Perhaps out notes. We should go to bed. <laughs> I'm also taking out. And he's sleep. writing Arashtox. <laughs> he's actually writing. You see, like mating rituals from the people of Galarian. Like you can see writing uh, in Sylvan Arashtox. You can see like him taking these notes. Like, uh, <laughs> and they seem very open with their sexuality. Uh, this is something that we do here on Castrovel as well, but in a very different way. You can see, oh. you can say that uh, it appears that each member of the people from Galarian seems to be trying to mate with me. What? <laughs> this would be a, a Rashtak. This is in Sylvan, so a Rashtak and maybe a few words here and there from or for Malavik uh, can pick up on this. Gentil, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am not wishing to mate with you. Uh, our anatomy would not be compatible. He nods his head. That's the only correction I make. All right. Uh, uh, I say this was a very knowledgeable night. Mm. Yes. Gentil's nodding. Mm. I shall seek out more knowledge before I go to bed and continue reading. Would you like to pick w one of us? No, no, no. I am I'm going to go and read. Oh, I thought you wanted knowledge from one. Okay. I do Still not a house of pleasure. Yes, it is. Do not take this what, away from me. Knowledge we have talked about the swoosh and the importance of the swoosh. Exactly. I would like to speak about the swoosh. Didn't you? And then I'll go into constantly talking about switches. Gentio looks Yara, extremely you... confused the entire time. <laughs> I give you one of the the sugary rolls when you are leaving. Thank you. Mm. <clears throat> yes. Goodbye. No, I forgot you had those. <laughs> uh, yes, I am not having them out in 
this establishment as it would be an insult, I think. Hmm. Makes sense. Arcee. We save him for the road. Yes. Why? Uh, why does it seem like others are so shy to talk about rituals of uh, exploring uh, the body? Different cultures have different expectations. Mm, mm. Strange. They treat it as if it's a uh, taboo. Mm. Well, I mean, it's all a matter of self-preference. Mm. There are even people among my tribe that are more private or singular with their advances. Uh, the well. customs here on well, amongst the elves of Castravel varies. I suppose in Los Kialua, we would be considered more conservative, but we are still very open. Mm. So would you say that you're open to experimenting? Yes. <laughs> mm. Well, with that, I will take my leave, and I'll, like, slap Gentia on the back. Mm. Be a warrior, and then I'll walk off. I do not know what that means. I also do not know. Yara! Uh, this is strange. Why? I am learning things, but it is odd, the different reactions. Hmm. Not bad, strange, just odd, different, different cultures as was noted. Mm Mm-hmm. What is your culture like, Rashtok? Are your people reserved? Gentiel is staring at you, pen in hand, ready to take notes. Uh, no. Uh, breeding is uh, done as a task. Uh, mm. A season of it. Uh, we all have, uh, well, the uh, uh, tribe I am f- from uh, gender is less necessary. Hmm. The biology is uh, adaptable. Ah, oh, that's fascinating. Yes, very. Uh, people uh, change as needed. Excellent. My people, uh, as I said, come in a wide variety of disposition. I myself like to take every adventure that I can. Try new things. That is foreign to me, admittedly. I'm leaning closer and closer to Gentiel as I'm talking to Arashtak. I, I yes. Well, it seems that Yara was perhaps a bit uncomfortable with the conversation, perhaps the yes. attention more so. Ah, that makes some more sense now. Hmm. Some people do not quite appreciate outright being told, especially in a, pu- in a public space, that they want to grab them, you know? Sometimes mm-hmm. they prefer a more intimate setting. <clears throat> yes. Um, we are... Um, it's warm here. Yeah. You are warm? Um, Gentile, do you want to go back to your place? Yes. Okay. Rashtak, have a good night. 
I think we're going to go ah! out. Ah, you are going to breed. I get it now. Mm. Very well. Uh, Grab a big piece of meat. Uh, good, good luck. May Conception find you well. Thank you. I think it'll be more for entertainment and pleasure. Oh, yes, that is right. Uh, very well. I shall eat bread. Right, have a good night. I grab yes. Gentile's hand and we leave. 